Alright then, Fox Sword, Defender of Peace, let's move on to this very inspirational episode of e &M. We shall! Our first story is one of true inspiration. Get ready to hear that a lot. We take you to Nepal, where in recent events, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake ripped through, killing more than 7,300 people in the worst disaster to strike the Himalayan nation in more than 80 years. <sighs> the most miraculous part of this all is one story of a 100-year-old farmer, Funshu Tamang, who survived seven days, yes, a full week before he was medevaced to a relief center. He has survived three of the largest earthquakes in Nepal's history, always coming out unscathed. Now, Dakota, that is just truly amazing. Foxor. Foxor. Whatever. Moving on to the next story for you guys. This one comes from a very determined son who knew absolutely no limits and would not rest until his father's prized possession was returned. After being gone for nearly 34 years, Chris Jackson was in awe when he woke up to a police officer at his door at 3 a.m. claiming his 1971 Mach 1 Mustang Fastback, stolen from a DQ parking lot when he was a senior in high school, had been found in one piece. The car had been stored in a garage in nearly the entirety of its missingness time. Isn't that cool, Dakota? You know, I don't know anything about cars, but if it has the word mock in it, I bet it goes fast. You know what a mock is, right? That's like... Mach 1 is breaking the sound barrier. Yes. For, every, for every mock you have that breaks the sound barrier, a Ford claimed that it could break the sound barrier. So wait, you're telling me that if this is... Hot, so if you have something that's good, it's like Mach 2. Right. You're, gotta, you're, you're you're twice over the sound barrier. All right, then let me, I got I got a brain buster for you. If you're going Mach two, can you hear yourself? So you don't hear anything. It's clear. It is completely silent. Then what do you do? If, say you're in a jet, like a jet that goes Mach two or Mach three. Like that's a thing. There, there are jets that can go Mach four and Mach five. Well, how do they? They can't hear anything, right? They cannot hear anything now. Then how do they know someone's following them? They have instrument panels mm -hmm. that make noise. But you can't hear that. You, yeah, you can. You can hear sounds in the inside of the cockpit. You can't hear. But how? You can't noise. hear your actual jet making noise. Does that make sense? You can't. So you're sitting in pure you silence. Can't you can't hear. You can't hear. Exactly. That exactly. Would be, hmm. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that in 1971 they claimed that a uh, very boxy Mustang could beat the sound barrier. I mean, I'm sure if it was rolling downhill. It's it's not not even rolling downhill. What if it was rolling downhill? A really down? big hill? Uh, yeah, and the wind was pushing it. I don't even think so. Then I think the suspension would get out before that. <laughs> All right, well, that's all we have for you on the uh, inspirational form of this show from e &M. We will see you here next week. You're probably not even watching by this point, whatever. But, yeah, we'll see you back in about a week, maybe two, depending on if we get around to the show or not. My name's Grayson. And my name's Folksless. Folksless, that's the best you can come up and tell the spot. Dude, you said Grayson. That's what was your actual yours? name. What was yours? Oh, Grayos? Gra My name's Grayos. Grayos. And I'm Foxor. No, you're not. I'm Foxor. You've been watching Ian. I apologize. <laughs>